So in the previous video, we talked about the QuizMe app, and I showed you a functioning version of it. I'm just going to go through some demonstration coding on how that app worked. Uh, the design screen for this is pretty simple. We can see I have a preloaded image uh, here. I have a label for a question. I have a horizontal arrangement in there. I basically have a, a label and then a text box for the user input. Uh, below that, I have a right or wrong. This will change to right, correct or incorrect, depending on how the person answers. Another horizontal arrangement with a submit button and a next button uh, in it. And then again, a horizontal arrangement with a correct and an incorrect label in there. Uh, text to speech, a notifier, and a tiny DB storage so we can actually store some values if we wanted to. Uh, I have four images already preloaded here uh, for my quiz. So again, I found those and then we uploaded them here so we can program them to uh, take the place of this image here. So if I come over to blocks, the first thing I want to do is just set up my variables. So I'm going to have a bunch of variables on this one. Uh, I'm just going to duplicate. I know that I'm going to have six variables. So I'm just going to duplicate this six times. The first one, I'm just going to call my correct question index. Uh, what this is going to do is uh, I'm going to use this variable to uh, list which question I'm on and to navigate between my questions. So I'm going to set this to one. Uh, I'm going to have a correct variable. And we can start that by having that at zero. I can duplicate that and bring that over here. And I'm going to have this as my incorrect. Now here I'm gonna actually make my list. So I'm gonna have my question list. I'm going to have my answer list. And then I'm gonna have my picture list. Now I'm going to come to my list and I'm going to grab my make a list button. I'm going to add here strings into or items into this. And I have four questions. So I'm going to have four. I can duplicate this then for each of mine. And to make these lists now, I'm going to come over to my text. And I'm going to duplicate here. Oh. I can control Z that off. I had some code stored. There we go. Duplicate this list. Uh, and what I actually should have done is I know I'm going to need these text boxes for all of these. Once I fill those in, and that'll save me some uh, clicking. I can duplicate rather like that. So all I'm going to do with my list here is where does this basketball team play? So then I would come here to my answers list and I would say Milwaukee. Now, because it's a proper noun, if they spell it any other way, even if they get the general idea of it, it's not going to give them a correct response in our code unless we set up multiple uh, correct answers for this one. Now, I'm going to type in bucks.jpg. JPG. The reason for my picture list, if you can see, I have to have the file name exactly how it's spelled when it's uploaded. So my suggestion is before you upload it is to rename it something simple so you can call that file name. Even here, a capital letter is not going to let this uh, image load if it's not spelled correctly. So then you're just going to do and make your next questions. What year did this movie come out? And the answer is 1977 for Star Wars. And my file name on that one was Star Wars JPEG. So what you're going to do is come up with your list for your question.